part, but I heard him during the first lap. When you're going around the Bowerman, what's he yelling at you? Well, he, like, on the curve, because he's the only person that's on that curve, so he tells me, like, if I need to slow down or get into position, like yesterday, he's like, slow down, like, settle in, settle in. So kind of just hearing those instructions while I'm running kind of helps. The fact that you, you have to get in on time, it probably helped being in the fast seat, didn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I really see this as a blessing. Although, at first, I'm like, oh, my gosh. But, you know, this is what I needed. He's like, all the semi, like, this is semi. Like, everything is fast. So just giving me that extra oomph and that push to get the grit out of me kind of helps. Anything left in the tank? I'm sure. I gotta recuperate and get a flush and cool down maybe, and then we'll see. <laughs> Do you like the advantage of running in that second heat so you kind of know what, what the cutoff times are and what you have to run to qualify? I just really, running that second heat, I like how I felt in it because running against fast people sometimes makes you feel really under pressure, and I'm really glad that I was able to stay composed and still run the way from running to how I felt.